Hey guys, this is Mr. Jojo. Today I'll be showing the open rate bout between Bruce Lee and Glover Teixeira. I hope you guys gonna like it. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling, they start doing jujitsu, they start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Teixeira is nine years the elder. He weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Los Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 31 wins, seven losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Global time! Shira! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California. Bruce, the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick and fight at Portland, Las Vegas. Really hard to think of the difference that we've seen on film. From either guys in their reaction careers. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded. They have every skill. And that is going to be on display tonight in this key match. Whoa! And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, he might be out. Big knee lands there. certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Teixeira gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. 
Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. He is all about that left kick to the body. Back and forth we go. Look at him drive his shins into his opponent's body. Continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Side control now. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Lee's got his back again. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground pound. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get to the full mount, and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be going. He's got to drop his hip, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound and very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Look at the turtle in that kick. Well, you gotta like the way he goes. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. to block the strike coming back. What? Oh, double leg lands. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Under a minute now to go in the round. So he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Well, he's got his back now. Nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. His misses are entertaining. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kid. All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick, DC. Talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Round two here. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, and there's a and maybe time to get. 
get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad for his head again. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, straight right. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Left hand punch from the foot. Teixeira gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Oh! He's hooked. Serve him up. Go get him. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by Gordon. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hit to his opponent on Bobby Lee. I mean, look at the commitment to kick him. to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Lee's kick attempt there blocked. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Nice punch there by Glover to Shara. Three minutes to go. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, he might be out. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. So this is the open weight bout between Bruce Lee and Glover Teixeira. Thank you guys for watching. So there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.